my character uh, picks up where Sinister One ended, which is that he sort of becomes obsessed with the same case that Ethan Hawke's character, Ellison Oswald, was obsessed with. And out of a lot of sort of, you know, guilt and remorse that things didn't go a different way, um, by following this case, it leads him to Shannon's character, who is a mother with two young boys living in the middle of nowhere, who sort of these supernatural things are starting to occur to them, unbeknownst to them. I think that she was given the information like, you know, something happened a long time ago, kind of, she, it's like you, we all hear stories like that, like, oh, that right. apartment building, there was something, they say it's haunted, or, but the, the, the real horror was going on in, in her real life, mm -hmm. and the house is actually made quite cozy, you know, the kitchen's kind of cozy, and so she made it a little home, a little temporary home, she's surviving. I think we're up against two totally different things in the movie, <laughs> yeah. where I'm like, lady, this house is not okay. And she's like, I have serious family problems. And we can't, I think that that's actually where I'll, like that drives the story forward, because it's like, I can't reveal all of this to you, and nor can my character reveal all of this to her. Real life horrors, I'm trying to protect my kids from the real life horror of a, a very abusive father. So it's, it's something that's, um, really scary. The interesting thing about them is that it actually felt like, for me, it was a little opposite. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were playing against each, how they yeah. actually really are in yeah. real life. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the uh, uh, Robert was, was, uh, Pure oh. evil. Yeah, he was <laughs> just a little troublemaker. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I remember sometimes they had to have, because there's only a certain amount of hours that the mm -hmm. kid actor's going to work, they had to have uh, his brother stand in because his brother, D'Artagnan, hadn't worked as much right. that day. or so. so he would stand in for certain scenes. And uh, one time he stood it in for a scene that was very emotional. And, and it was kind of like, cause, it was cosmic timing, really, because I, I just, I felt that for him more naturally. Shannon got hit in the head with a prop. A flying prop. <laughs> Uh, the director got bit by a brown recluse spider. So, uh, one day a van, like, was like, something happened. Uh, like, the parking brake broke, and it uh, ended up, like, rolling down a hill and almost killing everyone. 